Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're going to take a look at podcasting and specifically how to use PowerPress via uh, your WordPress website to uh, create a podcast feed to submit to iTunes, Stitcher Radio, or wherever else you want to distribute your audio podcast. So uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, open up the back end of your WordPress website. So go ahead and log in there and then go to where you see um, where it says plugins. Click on plugins there uh, and then you need to to go up here and search for a plugin. So you'll go to add new. So you're going to add a new plugin. And uh, once you're there, go ahead and search uh, for PowerPress or you can search for podcast, whatever. Uh, and then once you've done that, you'll see the first one that comes up. It says B-L-U-B-R-R-Y PowerPress podcasting plugin. Go ahead and install that. It'll have an install link there. Install that and activate it. And then once you've done that, you're going to see the PowerPress direct link down here where you can change settings. And that's where you're going to create the feed for your podcast to send out to iTunes and those places to, to you know serve your podcast. So go ahead and, and click on the settings there. And then once we've done that, you'll see a few different features available. Uh, you'll see uh, the welcome page here, the welcome tab. But the first one that you want to go to uh, is the basic settings. So go to basic settings. And I'm going to walk you through each of these to make sure that your podcast podcast looks and sounds the best that it can when you send it out onto iTunes or Stitcher Radio. So the first thing you're going to see here is episode entry options. So each time you uh, upload an audio file to your host, whether it be Lips, uh, Lipsyn, which is what I use, or uh, SoundCloud, whoever hosts the file, uh, whenever you do that, an episode comes out, this is what's going to happen. So basically here, you're just going to want to leave the uh, media URL. So go ahead and leave the uh, the URL in the episode there and then check the media file size and duration. So you do want that to show as well. Uh, once you've done that there, all of that's the way you want it. Uh, you then want to go down here and make sure the first four are checked. So audio player options, video player, custom podcast channels, and category podcasting. Make sure those are checked. And then if they are, click the blue save changes button at the bottom hand side of the page. Next, we want to go to services and stats. So this here, basically, uh, they're trying to sell you where they can give you podcast stats. Don't worry about any of that. Go to media appearance, which is the next tab there uh, by the stats tab. Now, this is very important here. Uh, under media appearance settings, you're going to want to enable PowerPress media players and links. Okay, that's the default. Don't disable that. Make sure that is enabled, okay? Under that, under blog post and pages, you want to display the media below the page, or you can do it above it. It just depends on your preference. This is basically saying when someone comes to that show notes page or the blog page where the audio is hosted, uh, you know, on your blog, do you want it above the text or below the text? Basically, you can do all of that here. Next, you're going to see the media player. Go ahead and check the display player. Uh, under media links there, go ahead and display uh, the play and new window link. So you can, you know, have the option to display the audio player in a different window. And then below that, it says display download link. You definitely want to give your, your audio listeners a option to download that uh, to get it directly onto their computer or media player device. Below that, you're going to see a few other options. Don't worry about any of that. Uh, go down to the bottom, make sure the top four are checked, and then click on the blue save changes button at the bottom of the screen. Once you've done that, go up to feeds. This is extremely important, okay? This is the feed that you're going to provide to iTunes, you're going to provide to Stitcher Radio, so this has to be right, okay? So you can enhance all of the feeds, which you know I recommend, you can do that, they also recommend that, or you can opt to not enhance those feeds. Really, it doesn't matter, uh, but if you enhance the feeds, it allows for like tagging and category podcasting, so it's always good to enhance things, so why wouldn't you do that? Now, the next thing is probably the most important thing I'm gonna tell you in this video. This is your podcast feed, right here, where it says podcast feeds. Uh, I have a Wildstar podcast, which is a game that I play myself, uh, that I put out as well as a YouTube podcast. Uh, and this here is telling me this is my direct link that I'm going to provide to iTunes, to Stitcher Radio, that's going to uh, send it out to the masses, okay? You've got to have this link. Uh, and then once you have that, you're going to need to validate that link, okay? So that's very, very important, okay? So make sure that that link is validated by clicking on the validate button. Once you click on it, you'll see something here that says feed validator. And then if you've done everything properly, you'll see where it says, congratulations, that is a valid RSS feed to send out. So that's always good. Now, our feed title, all right? So uh, the feed title is going to be the title of your 
podcast. So whatever the title of your podcast is, go ahead and type that in the feed title link there and that will be good there. Now, next thing I want to tell you about, the show the most recent episodes. You want to show as many episodes as you can, right? You don't want to ever lose those episodes. People may want to go back, listen to old archived episodes. So uh, start with 50, and then once you go over 50 episodes, number one, congratulations, because you've surpassed what most people do with podcasting, and then you can change that later on down the road, okay? Copyright, you can add something there, whatever you want to do. You can choose to add basic show info, whether you want to add you know location, whether you're in LA, Chicago, whatever, Atlanta, and then episode frequency. I put weekly, because mine's a weekly podcast, and I want people to know know uh, exactly uh, when it's coming out. Under the TV settings or the settings, you can choose the parental rating. If you do have profanity and things like that, you do want to uh, select here wisely uh, because iTunes will pull your podcast if you have profanity and do not mark it as adult or explicit. Once we're done there, go ahead and click the blue save changes button there once again. Uh, And then once we've done that, go up to the iTunes link, which is right by the feeds link. Okay. Now, the iTunes subscription URL, this you will not have until you are accepted by iTunes. So once you are accepted by iTunes, you'll have a link. You can go to the iTunes store, click on that, uh, and copy the link and paste it there. You won't have that to begin with. Do not worry about that. Now, all of this stuff is very important. iTunes is just like Google or YouTube. It is a search engine, okay? You want to add your keywords. Don't overdo it, but you want to add your keywords. So under program subtitle, I put your number one Wildstar resource. Uh, Under the summary there, I just put a brief summary about what the podcast is, okay? Uh, And then under iTunes program keywords, words, add as many of those as you possibly can that are, you know, that's not overdoing it. Under the iTunes category, select your category. Mine is video games. Yours may be business. Yours may be whatever. Select the category. iTunes explicit. Is it clean? Is it not? Go ahead and choose that. And then the iTunes talent name, you'll put your name and then maybe a brief little something about yourself. I like to put a little bit about myself. Again, the more, the the better there. So iTunes email, this is for people to email you uh, if they want to email you in regards to the podcast. And then you can set up a new iTunes feed there if you want want to. So don't do any of that. Make sure all four of these are checked just like always and then hit the blue save changes button down below. The last thing you want to do is you want to add your artwork. So click on the artwork tab right there by iTunes and then once you're there you're going to want to upload an image. So for me, uh, I went on my computer uh, and I added an image that I had created that I wanted to be my artwork for my podcast. Uh, It has to be 1400 by 1400 pixels, uh, 1400 high, 1400 wide, and it's got to be in a JPEG format, 72 PPI. All of that is very important. If you get one of those things wrong, you will upload your podcast to iTunes and there will be no artwork. And for you, that is terrible because the artwork is something that will make your podcast stand out. So make sure you do that. You can also click on the preview link right beside that and it shows a nice little JPEG image of what it looks like. Okay, uh, go ahead and click the use iTunes image above with that check mark there and then hit the save changes button once again. You, my friends, are now ready to upload your podcast to iTunes, to Stitcher Radio, to all of those good places. So now when you go up and you add a post, so I'm going to go ahead and go to add new post here in WordPress, you're going to see a little option here that says podcast episode default. It says media URL. This is where all of the magic happens, my friend. You are going to then upload that link from your host. So mine looks like this here. I use Lipson, okay, which is who hosts my my podcast or host, you know, I pay them, you know, 12, 15 bucks a month to host my audio. And then they provide me with this link here. Okay. I'll do a separate video on hosting uh, and, and providing a host and doing all that. But you should have all that figured out. If you're to this point, yours may be SoundCloud, yours may be someone else, whatever it may be, provide that URL link directly to the MP3 file. You're then going to want to verify by clicking that verify link. It should show a green success button right beside that if it's worked. And then what you want to do is if you want to, you can specify the duration, do all of that. And then you also want to show the sharing buttons. And then now whatever you type up here in the body of the post, that's going to be like your show notes. And then the title, I would always put the title of that episode. And then once we do that, go ahead and hit the publish like you would a normal post via WordPress. And then I'll go ahead and show you what mine looks like. And then if we go to, we'll see all post, you'll see here, here's episode one of this one here. I'll click on that. 
And then once I'm there, it'll show, here's you know a little bit of text about the show, the show notes, who posted it, all of that stuff. Now we're gonna go ahead and view it live on the website, and this is what it looks like. So you see the title of the episode there, you see my name, the date that I posted it, a few show notes there, how they can contact me, and then boom, right here is my player, right below that, and then if I click the play button, Boom, it starts playing right here in my uh, my blog. So a few things that I'll tell you. Number one, always involve, always incorporate show notes, something about the show. Number two, always put something in where they can contact you. So here I have where they can contact me on Twitter, email, and even a phone number call in for the show. Uh, so do that as well. Also, once you have your iTunes link, you might want to drop that in here as well because they may not know you're on iTunes. So put that on uh, your show notes page as well. So anyways, guys, hopefully this has helped you a little bit on how to use the PowerPress plugin to provide iTunes and Stitcher Radio and those places a podcast feed or RSS feed. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great tech content just like this. Subscribe to my podcast if you want to. If you like Wildstar, subscribe to that one. If you like YouTube and you're a content creator, subscribe to that one. Uh, anyways, I will talk to you guys next time.